Firefighters battling a bushfire in the Blue Mountains west of Sydney are breathing a sigh of relief after light rain slowed its progress. Residents packed their belongings and fled as gusty winds saw the fire double in size yesterday. Sunrise reporter Sean White is at Wentworth Falls. Sean, uh, the warning was downgraded overnight. Yeah, Sam, well, it was about 5pm when we saw it at an emergency warning because uh, for a whole hour there it was quite touch and go for the 150 firefighters who had pretty much been slogging it out all weekend with this blaze. But thankfully within an hour it was downgraded to a watching act because uh, the rain really aided firefighters and helped them stave off this blaze. Uh, Sean, do authorities know what caused the fire? Well, Koshi, they won't know for a few days, uh, they expect, um, and at this stage investigations are taking place, but the focus is really on um, keeping the fire under control and uh, making sure residents uh, remain safe and have their bushfire survival plans in place. Uh, the slight good news is that the fire is moving in a southern direction and away from uh, uh, properties. Mm, OK, crazy conditions. I mean, two weeks ago... There was snow where you're standing, Sean, and it's freezing there this morning and we've got a bushfire going on. So, you know, are, are the weather conditions going to help firefighters? What's around the corner? Well, what they'll be looking at is the wind. That is their main um, sort of issue. And we did know that in the last hour, uh, there were 90 kilometre wind gusts in the southern highlands and they were expecting wind gusts um, from midnight, but that didn't eventuate. So they'll be keeping a close eye on that because while the fire is under control, uh, what they're most worried about is if that wind sort of whips up the flames again. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, keep us posted. Thank you for that.